is like typical, like, I just want to protect my da daughter. Like, protect her from what? What is causing you to feel this way? You know, regardless um, of... Irrational months. Yeah, like... Um, which is funny, because that's... Uh, they actually got an actress who uh, played another character in the show to play this character. So she's in... she This one actress is in the show twice. There's two different characters. They did that again with... Uh, another character because uh, Richard's mother passes away in the story and she was played by this one actress but they got the actress back to play the mother's sister or a relative of the mother and I actually thought that was a cool idea I think they actually did that really well um, but uh anyway so a year in the life like Rory the way we, we leave off with a Rory she she graduates from Yale, um, which, uh, to kind of finish that one thought I made that, about, like, how, like, you, you can kind of predict how things are going to go when, like, Richard and Lorelai and Emily, uh, Richard's wife and Lorelai's mom, and, uh, and Rory and whatnot, they all go visit, they all go visit Yale, and I'm thinking, like, Okay, I I could tell that like okay, Richard is gonna try and set up Rory with like an interview with like the headmaster, so like she can like try and get in. And of course, obviously, Lorelai didn't like that because she's all like, oh, she wanted to go to Harvard and shit. Uh, again, that's kind of going back to like the stubbornness and the pride of uh, Lorelai. Relate to these characters. Do what now? I I can relate to them. I mean. Ugh. God, I mean, Harvard or Yale? Truly, my life is suffering. <laughs> you probably, you probably would, you would probably hate the character Paris, because she, she I like, in the goddamn mouth. Because she cry, she gets, she wants to go to Harvard. She cries because she doesn't get into Harvard. Oh no, I still have to go to an Ivy League school. <laughs> Yeah, this sh this show, the characters in this show are at, at like a certain pedigree. I feel like that's Lies sort of like the rich and stupid. That that that's sort of the uh, the benefit to characters like Luke, Jess, and Dean, like uh, these other characters who are like a little more grounded and real, and not not grounded in real realism. I guess from the perspective that like you know obviously we're not like living in wealth or anything. I but, mean, uh, comparatively, they're almost normal. <laughs> um, you know, but so yeah, because of like Luke and Jess are probably my two favorites. I actually because I found a podcast. I mentioned it the last time or a while ago. Gilmore Guys, and they had an interview with the actor who played Jess, Milo Ventimiglia, who was been in like a few different things. He was also Wolverine in the uh, Wolverine anime. He did the voice. Um, apparently they were going to do a spinoff with Jess, because Jess, his whole story, he's uh, Luke's nephew, his mom hates him, and his dad, like, left, or, like, his, his, his Jess's mom was, like, a nutcase or something, and his dad, like, you know, left for whatever reason, so he, she, he gets sent to Luke's place in Stars Hollow to kind of, like, live and, like, kind of shape up. He meets Rory, gets a crush on her... Makes Dean jealous, all that shiz. That's another thing I don't like. All the fucking boyfriends are jealous. All the fucking time. There's an episode where where Jess comes back and meets Logan, and Logan is just all like this. Ugh. Ew.